simple philosophy right here, right now. This is your reminder. This is what I was thinking about all day. It's what I said to you guys yesterday. I'm just going to give you a nice reminder here. Uh, it's something I'm, you know, honestly, I'm just reminding myself. This is something I've been working on, and I think it's taken me, uh, I, I love it. It's taken me a long way. I could, I could tell the difference when I'm not using this philosophy, and it has to do with being reactive. And that's something I want to make sure you guys are literally keep the peace, bro. That's one thing I've been saying. That's one thing we've been talking about. I kind of gave, I, I, we explained it yesterday. I said, hey, man, I don't have the energy to fight with stuff anymore. You know, a few weeks ago, I probably would have argued with you. You know, really, it's avoiding stuff when you could see it, but just keep the peace. And really, the way I looked at it, I was even driving yesterday in the car, and this guy was just like, you know, I, I have, I was, I get weird drivers next to me and I'll freak out and all that. And, you know, I was like, I could be a dick with this guy. I could do that. And I was just like, hey, just, you need to relax. It's not worth it. But then this thought came into my head because before I interacted with him, I was on the phone and I was talking to someone and I could just tell they didn't have a good day. And even after that incident with the car on the road, I even talked to another person and you could just kind of tell they didn't have a good day. So it's, it was pretty interesting uh, because I was thinking, you know, I'm driving on the road. I'm like, this guy's kind of bothering me. Should I like, I'm like, you know, do you, do you react? Oh, this guy's cutting me off. This guy's driving like this. Do you, do you react or do you, do you, do you keep the peace? And again, keep the peace means not fighting with other people, but really in yourself. Are you letting things get to you? Are you getting bothered? That's literally the question. Can you keep the peace, especially when it's other people? And that's when I was like, all right, man. I said, I am not really in the, I don't have the energy for this. I'm not in the mood. And yeah, it, it, I know it's hard to not react, but this is, so this is my practical piece of advice for you. I just, every person you interact or next time you are tempted to react to somebody or something, I encourage you to ask this question. Or maybe tell yourself this. Or ask yourself, what if they're just having a really bad day today? That's it. Sounds very cliche. I know you've probably heard this before. But have you ever asked that before reacting? Because I was looking, I was like, because I was I looking, I'm like, man... Like, I was literally asking, like, what's wrong with this dude? <laughs> I was like, why is he doing this? But then I was like, I, I think that's a, vi a viable answer. I was like, well, I wonder if he's having a bad day. And that's, think about, I mean, I, I see a lot of problems get started. And, and honestly, this is just the same concept, honestly, of, of love your neighbor as you love yourself. And maybe it stuck out to me so much because I could remember very recently, you know, at different times where I'm not having a good day. And like, I wasn't having a good day and people would come at me with some stuff. I'd have to deal with stuff. And like, I was the one not having a bad day and how somebody approached me or escalated something, anything of that nature, it made me react a different way. And it was just like, I, it, it'll make you act a little bit extra. So ask yourself that. And that's my reminder for you guys before you try to, to do anything with that. Just ask yourself, hey. Are they having a, a bad day? It's as simple as that, you know? I really would I really would just ask yourself that question. And the idea is for yourself, because I'm telling you now, this is the, the whole point I'm telling you this philo is like, honestly, with how crazy the rest of this year is going to be coming into 2021, I hope all of you guys, you know, honestly, I'm excited. I think it's a new journey. And, and I'm, I'm excited for where we all get to start off from. I hope you guys see it as something new. I was, look, I was looking in the... Uh, I was looking in the mirror the other day, you know, I was like, damn, I like this, you know, and I was looking at the portfolio, the long term, we're like, we like that, and, and all this stuff, and some of you have made great journeys so far in this last 12 months, I, I wouldn't see it as, it's not like, damn, I looked, I worked 12 months to get here, to, you know, to get my body like this, to get my, my stocks like this, to get, you know, the certification, whatever it may have been for you guys to, to get to that level, but it's kind of now, where are you going to go in the next 12 months? It's, I, I, I was more, I'm not, I'm not, I wasn't excited about my results as much as I was excited about where I'm starting from for a new journey. Does that make sense? So 
I really want you guys to be excited. And this is why I'm giving you this reminder here. That's why I'm tying it in here because you guys are all about to start from some place. It's not about, you know, a lot of you guys are looking at your success and progress and you're comparing it to what you wanted, what you thought it was going to be like, whatever. But I really encourage you to take a step back and look at it and say, hey, I know all this information now. And this is now where I'm starting from. And you are starting from a uniquely different position. You have certain things built up. So you're still weak in some areas, but you have other stuff and it's, it's beautiful. But this is why now I'm telling you, this is why you listen to Philo. This is why some of you value Philo so much. It's all in the head. That's it. It's your mindset. And it's going to be important. And that's what I'm saying, you know, moving forward with this. Keep your peace, honestly. You don't have, please pick your battles. Know what you have time to, to put your energy towards. Don't let little things bother you. You see what I'm saying? Whether it's driving that. And again, I need to work on that too. And I, I feel like I have a lot better. And I could tell when I, like I said, I could tell when I slip on it or not. And it's, it's a huge 180 difference. But I, I, I'm telling some of you now, I, want, I really want you to reflect on, are you being reactive? Yeah, stay still, please. Yeah, for real, just relax. Chill. And that, that's what you have to, you know, if you really believe everything is in, in control, you'll see. But Spy is coming down here. This is two points in like 15 minutes. So keep an eye on there, though. But no, 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 I'm, I'm telling you, though. I mean, mean dead, dude, this is, this is the key. This is the key. Once you lose this, it will, it will, it will crack everything else. But once you acquire this and strengthen this, it will, that is the foundation. It is going to be your guys' peace. That's why I'm telling you with all of this, man, you know, show love, love your neighbor as you love yourself. Keep this in mind. But now the key is stop reacting. So that's my reminder is to reflect on this and just ask yourself, how soon are you reacting? When something happens in life, how quickly are you reacting? How quickly are you opening your mouth? How quickly are you coming to a negative thought? How quickly are you, th are you coming to a positive thought? Or do you start moving around? How, how long, like, are you, how are you reacting to everything? Like, really just think that is the key. Every single stock play is tied into that. Come on. Think about the long term. Everything. How? How reactive are you? Yeah, stay chill. Uh, Lord will fight for you. You only need to be still. It's a wild concept. So I encourage you, honestly, before you react to the situation, whatever the situation, all of us deal with other ones, I encourage you to take everything in. And honestly, give your chance to think about the positivity. Give your chance to to let the emotions go through. It's, it's, it's so ironic that I'm telling you guys this now towards the end of the year. What, two, three months left? I told you something similar two, three months into the year. I told you guys, don't be so impulsive. You guys remember that? You remember after TLT, after all of these plays, you all had this money. Do you remember me telling you not to be impulsive? You guys remember the 30-day rule? That was for money. So at least give yourself a 24-hour rule with other things. Maybe a two-hour rule. I don't know. Some of you. Yeah, he said, he said stop being impulsive. He said, I said, once you get a lot of money, don't buy something in, in 30 days. You might, you might want something, but don't be, that's being impulsive. You see, you're being impulsive. Don't do that. So it's the same thing coming here now, but with your mindset. You see what I'm saying? This is how you're conducting yourself daily. This is beyond money because it's ironically enough. Come on. If you can't do it in traffic, <laughs> you can't do it with money. If you can't do it with something small, it's going to be a lot harder to do it with something bigger. And that's why I'm, I'm, I'm reminding you, give yourself some impulsivity, reactivity rule but please just reflect on this and just, just think about it and try to take control of your reactivity. That's, that's really what I want to share with you and remind, and I really want to remind you that you are in control. I'm a very angry person at times. <laughs> I hope you know it. 
I, I'm a hothead. You've seen Yash come out. You've seen me blow up. I could do it. You haven't even really seen me blow up. So it's pot. You could get control of it. It's just something you got to really think about, but you have to be consciously aware of it. So that's what I'm trying to remind some of you here. Regardless of the situation, I encourage you to not let reactivity and impulsivity determine your life. Your actions, your financial actions, but it sucks because this philo is tied it's tied directly into money. <laughs> this is the, 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 the framework for financial, solid intellectual framework for making sound financial decisions or emotional framework. Your emotions are in check. You're not reactive. You're able to buy the stocks with a plan. You're able to hold the long term. You're not tempted to sell out of the long term and buy options. That's, too, that's reactive. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> you were reacting now. That's what happens at that point. Oh, the stocks move up. I bought this play. Now I need to get out. It's reactive. And now, you know, don't get it. Uh, this is hard. I get it. You know, you're talking to a bunch of stock traders. You, we will react to stock news. That's one thing in and of itself. But the question is, is every piece of news making you react? That's really what I'm asking you, both in the stock market and in real life, my friend. Think about beyond me yesterday. McDonald's news, it drops. We reacted. That rewarded us. We were up. It pops up. We got it. We, we reacted. It rewarded us. Honestly, we, and, then we, and then I didn't react after that. It's not like I sold the put when it went up and I didn't buy the, and I didn't sell the other one. I was very reactive, but I also wasn't reactive. But then, you know, it worked out in our favor. We had some money today. I didn't sell it. Still not reacting. But... The question is, what about every play after that now? I think I only main Beyond Meat was the last one. That's it, Beyond an AMD. But the question is, what pieces of news are you reacting to? That's the stock market, okay? Awesome. You get that example. I talked about Beyond Meat. Beautiful. Apply that to real life. What pieces of news in your life are you reacting to? Are you reacting to every single event in your life, every single thing that happens to you? Are you reacting like beyond meat candles? And then are you selling it out once something changes and going out and then all oh, then doing this? Maybe you need a pattern day trade rule on your life because you're reacting to everything. Are you reacting to the big news? Are you reacting to the small news? Maybe some of you aren't reacting at all. So what news are you reacting to? And that's what I'm saying. Reflect on this and think about it. Because if you don't know how, why you react, I mean, I don't, I don't know why. I, I don't know what triggers me at times either, okay? For, <laughs> but at the same time, it's clear that I can't react to everything. I just can't. And neither can you, dude. <laughs> I, hope you, I hope you understand that. It's not like I'm somebody special here saying it's just because of me. It's like it's the same exact thing for you. You cannot react to everything. Guess what? You can't in the stock market. You can't without 25K. Even if you did, you'd probably lose all your money. You're going to run out of energy. I hope you realize that. You will run out of money. You will run out of energy, both in the market and not in the market. You cannot react to everything. So my question is, what are you reacting to? And are you taking control of how you react? Or are you just not even taking control, my friend? Just be, be aware. That's it. So, just like stocks, don't be a beyond candle in real life. Not everything is beyond. Sometimes it will be. Sometimes you will need to react and you'll get rewarded for that in there. But every single event is just like the news. You don't, you're not going to trade everyone. Is it, what do we say? What, what do we say when we don't want to make a play? What do, we say, what, what do we call it? We played one play, another play comes up, and we're like, nah, yeah, burn one. <laughs> so some of you think I'm telling you to smoke a joint. I'm not. <laughs> if that helps you, fine. I don't care. I really don't. But yeah, so burn one. Sit one out, bro. Don't be, you could now think about in your life, 
next time that that reactionary event comes your way, you might just want to be like, yo, you know, I'm going to sit this one out. So keep that in mind. But you can't react to everything. And this will control a lot. And especially coming into the end of the year. Oh, man, you're going to need it. You're going to need it. You're going to need your energy. So I hope you guys choose and reserve your cash balance internally just as your cash balance in your account. Because the plays are going to happen. I know that for without a doubt in my mind. It's not about the plays. It's going to be about the energy and the mental fortitude to handle what the market is going to throw at you. It is going to be the ups and downs. It is going to be the confusion. It is going to be all of that. I, you will run out of everything if you react to it all. I promise you. You need to be able to, to save your energy so when it looks like you lost, you could still come back. You need to save your energy so that when it looks like you haven't made a step, you're waiting for the perfect one and you, you are going to execute. But you need the energy to not get discouraged. You need the energy so that you're aware, so that you're focused. Come on, man. I'm telling you, this is very practical. I'm not telling you anything to believe for no reason. I'm not telling you this so you could be, be a dumbass with, you know, ah, no. It's to save your energy. That's it. You got, a, you got important moments coming up here. You're, you're, both, you're wrapping up a pivotal year. And you're starting probably what could be even more pivotal of a year. But now you're starting from a different point. Things have changed in your life so far. My question is, how has your mindset changed since then? Some of you are the same people. Some of you are different. But this aspect of keeping your peace and being able to manage as you, you go through these levels and being aware of how you're, getting, how you're reacting and what's making you move and not move, that, pay attention. It's game time. So I hope you're ready and I hope you're excited that this is where you get to start from, bro. And that's why you're going to wrap something up and start over, get some rest and be ready to run, baby. <sighs> hey, man, you can growl a little bit too. Not too much. Save the energy. All right. But control what, what everything is, man. Control the reactions. You cannot control what happens to you. Sorry. You can't control the dude on the road. You can't control what the stock market's going to do. You can't control what Robin Hood is going to do, unfortunately. But you could control what you do. And we talked about this. You're responsible for your own conduct. And that's once we, we place that, that's why I said lower the expectations on other people. So you stop reacting. Put the expectation on yourself. But don't react negatively to yourself if you, if you still fail. But keep the peace, ladies and gentlemen. <sighs> but that is, that's the philo, ladies and gentlemen. Make sure you guys are subscribed. We're live Monday through Friday, 30 minutes before open. Drop your thumbs up on the video. You're on mobile. Press high chat. X out the chat. Hit the thumbs up button. Second link for the nightly watch. This is the main channel. First link for the Scream Alerts Boot Camp and Real Estate Course. Excuse me. Follow me on Instagram at the Trading Fraternity. Keep it positive and respectful. Mm, they say follow me on trading journey like the video yeah mm -hmm. you good awesome mm -mm -mm.